Hey y'all, it's Jamie Dean here on the set of What Was Paula's Home Cooking. Look, we're in my mom and Michael's house on Turner's Creek. I'm happy to be here and I'm filming a couple of episodes of Quarantine Cooking today and I'm going to share a timely recipe with y'all today. It is, regardless of all the challenges that we face, it appears that football will be going. So it is football season, which makes it fall. It is fall. It is fall. The leaves are falling everywhere. That's from Yo Gabba Gabba, and I got three kids, and I know who Yo Gabba Gabba is. Today's recipe is so easy that I get to sing and dance and talk. First step, I'm gonna melt some butter right here. So I've got one. I don't know what I got in there. How much butter I got in there, cup. Teresa? A quarter cup of quarter butter. of a cup. Okay, that's so annoying. Melting. We'll try this one. Better. A quarter cup of butter, y'all. I'm gonna melt this. That's pretty annoying. Let's stay away from the stove for a minute. How about that? <laughs> Our dry ingredients, y'all. We are making, this is a homemade granola. Now you're able to store this in a airtight container. You can put this on your oatmeal. You can eat it by the spoonful. You can put it on ice cream. You can put it in your cereal. You can do anything that you want with it. This is my mother's recipe. I also have a really good oat bar recipe floating around out there that I did on Home for Dinner with Jamie Dean. I made it for Jack when he was maybe six years old, so that would have been eight years ago. Really good recipes. I love fresh granola, so let's get started. I've got a store-bought that I'm gonna use a cup and a half. So whatever kind that you might like, if you like the vanilla flavored or whatever, if you like certain kind of oats, if you like any of the add-ins that they do, your favorite brand of granola, a cup and a half. And we're gonna jazz this up. I've got one cup of roasted and salted pumpkin seeds. I love pumpkin seeds, y'all. Jamie, I didn't know they called those pepitos in the um, mm -hmm. grocery store. If somebody's yep. looking for them. Yep. Pepitos, really delicious. My favorite nut under the sun, pecans. We're gonna put in a half a cup of pecans. Now, if you wanna use macadamia nuts or if you wanna use walnuts or if you like almonds, that's the great thing about these recipes. We'll tell you where to start and you can finish wherever you'd like. Check my butter, it's going good. Now, if you like raisins, have at it. I like cranberries. We're going to add a half a cup of cranberries. Teresa's running the camera today. It's just she and I. So if you have any camera complaints, you can address those to T-Bone. I know. I should have got a, gotten a lesson from Eddie. At Lady and Sons. And then lastly, I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon. Love cinnamon. I tell you what, if you wanted to put a little bit of vanilla powder in here, that would be really good too. I am my mother's son, and I will change the recipe before I even get through it the first time. Now we've melted our butter here, and we're gonna add that right to our mixture here. This is gonna kind of bind it. It's gonna give it that buttery flavor. Hey, you can't ever go wrong with a little bit of butter. And here we have it. I would put this on top of ice cream all day long. You're gonna stir this until all your ingredients are incorporated together. And you're gonna find one of those cute ball jars that your grandma used to have. And if you'd like to put some wax paper in there to make it look pretty, tie a bow around it. You've made not only a delicious homemade granola, but you've made a great gift for friends and family. That's it. This is an easy recipe. Jamie Dean, quarantine cooking. I'll see y'all around the kitchen. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this blast from the past, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.